Welcome back, everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of Okami HD. In the last episode, we were exploring uh, the North Ryoshima coast. Uh, we unlocked Orca, which is the emissary of the Dragon Palace. He's a cute little, little colorful Orca, which allows us to explore the islands of North Ryoshima coast while evading the Water Dragon. Um, you cannot take us to the Dragon Palace yet. We have to explore, I guess, a bit more before we can uh, find a clue to get us to the Dragon Palace. Uh, we did get some upgrades. We upgraded our Power Slash and our Cherry Bomb ability, which will allow us to uncover more clovers and collect more praise. So how about I actually do that before we, we go uh, exploring the remaining islands in the coast? Um, let's use our Power Slash technique to break up those iron rocks that we've seen in the other zones and collect all that praise for them. They they give us some pretty fat praise out of those rocks. I remember seeing one, I believe, by the beach here in South Ryoshima. Yeah, there's one down here. By the beach. I think there's some monkeys near here, too. Bloom that. I said bloom that. That 40 praise. Oh god, don't drown. And then there was another iron rock. In the same zone. You remember seeing it before? <laughs> when we were on our way to the Guardian Sapling. There was uh, another iron rock that we could that we could slash now but we couldn't, couldn't before yeah, I think it was where all like the water was <laughs> where we were doing like the water the water transferring puzzle it's gonna like hit us in the face like bam there it is oh god right there behind this wall Dig. Bum, 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 bum. I said, there we go. 40 more praise. Let's get Daddle out of here. Trying to find like the simplest. There it is. Where's the hole? Trying to find the most streamlined uh, path through Nippon. Doing a lot of backtracking here for singular things. Back in the fortune teller's house. I guess we can get another fortune while we're here. <laughs> I knew you'd come, white wolf. You are troubled. Well then, if you have money, I'm ready. Interested? Here, I'll give her some money. She probably doesn't get that many clients. Aha, then let us listen to what the bones have to say, friend. Wah! It's coming to me. I can see it. The emissary from the depths leads you to a small island. Climb the tower that pierces the sky. A power that was once yours shall be retrieved. Can't tell you any more for now. You'll have to seek out clues yourselves. <laughs> that was kind of obvious. <laughs> I mean, when we, when we got Orca, it's like... It, it like literally panned to the tower. It's like, I, I wonder if we have to swim there. Gee. But we'll go there later. Uh, there's a rock here, but we can't slash it. Can't slash the sparkly geode looking rocks. But... If we go back... With the log bridge, if I can remember where that is. I, th I think it's this way. The log bridge had an iron rock next to it as well. I missed. Eh. Go. And that. 40 more praise. I always want to get a wallet just to spite the hell. What's that? I blew that away, right? Yeah. 
I know the leaves persist even after you get the treasure and you're just like, wait, did I get that? Alright, there's another iron rock in Taka Pass. I think it was on the way towards the Guardian Sapling. So let's go through here. It's like on the upper ridge, so there's a bit, little bit of a trick. Oh. Night time! Maybe I'll see a treasure that I missed before. <laughs> I feel like I've been pretty diligent about that. Run, 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 run. Puddle here. I like how my little, my little paw steps become lily pads on water. There it is, right there, right in front of our face. Dig, dig, dig. Do, do, do. It's a do, 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 do. <laughs> we got forty more braids. Very nice. And then there's one more thing we can do. Actually, probably two more things. Uh, let's go... we can use the origin mirror. Let's go back to Shinshu Field. Now that we have Cherry Bomb 2. Pretty sure... I'm all wanna see our, uh, improved fireworks skills. We can blow up more things simultaneously. All the way in Shinshu. I forgot if do I wonder if there's another sapling. I don't know if I want to check. It's a little bit of a walk. <laughs> if there's another guardian sapling that we got that we haven't collected the peach from Sakuya from, I don't think the one in North Ryoshima Coast counts because Waka did that for us. And plus, we collected praise from that peach with Yoichi's help. I don't know if Sakuya has another reward for me. And I guess there's a mirror right here. I feel like that origin mirror is very close to the one that's outside. Now, Saki about the water dragon. I feel like that's like out of her area of expertise. Not gonna know anything about that. Okay, say it's the same thing as always. Yeah, we don't get we don't get a peach for for the one in North Ryoshima Coast. Okay, I had to check. Curiosity has been sated. Alright, let's go back to Shinshu Field. And go bother Tama. Uh, should I warp? <laughs> this is not a very long distance to warp, but... I mean, it's here. And be to Shinshu. What's the fastest way to Tama's? Probably not this way. Oh well. All paths will de oh. All paths eventually converge. And then I think we'll take the Mermaid Spring. And go to the aristocratic quarter so we can visit the Emperor now that we have... A uh, hundred demon things so we can finally afford... The ink pot. Although I think I can afford the ink pot. Watch it be like 120. I'm like, hey, this. <laughs> there just be poor memory on our part. What's wrong with you? No, you. <laughs> oh, he's tired about the festival. Another year's festival has come and gone. I'm all burned out. 
Wonder if I'll ever be as fired up as, as that again. You know, so fired up your heart won't stop pounding. Bam, bam, bam! Jeez, this guy's all washed up. Right. My time's passed now. Those days when my heart wouldn't stop pounding. Pull yourself together, man. I mean, do one of your big bangs. Make it a real big one. All right. Now we gotta. I gotta do lots of exploding now. Bam. Oh. Uh, I do two cherry bombs at once. <laughs> Hopefully this one doesn't just simultaneously explode. Oh! Was that a double whammy? As I blow up your house and all the flammable fireworks and gunpowder inside it... Uh, amazing! And I get 30 brains for that. Coming back to me now. The old bam 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 of my heart pounding. That's not good. He's addi he's addicted. <laughs> he's <laughs> he needs constant thrills. Like that. Like would be bad for your heart. Too much too much of it would be bad for you. Alright, let's take the mermaid spring, because I think that's the closest way I can get to the Emperor. Because there's no origin mirror in Saiyan City. For some reason, even though it's like such a big city. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Uh, throw that in there. Eh. North. Yeah, Ristocratic Quarter. I guess we could take the Mermaid Spring back to the North Ryoshima Coast and then we'll hitch a ride back on Orca. Where am I? Alright, Emperor's Palace is right there. Luckily, I'm welcome here. The guards don't try to stop me. Don't have to veil of miss them. Befuddle them. If you look closely, demon fangs seem to differ slightly. I'd like to collect each and every one of them if I could. What do you think? Do you want to swap yours for some treasure? I want... Not the Thief's Glad. Actually, I, I do need to get 30 more faith for the Thief's, thief's Glad. I mean, it's for consumable items with, like, you soon, you flick as soon off your head and steal items, but the Ink Pot, Ink Pot's nice. This is Ink Restoration Speed. Give me that. Beautiful. Come and visit me again when you have more Demon Fangs to swap. Maybe I'll come when I have, like, 170. <laughs> I'll have multiple things to buy. Um, okay. That's a little bit hard what to use, because I feel like the the golden lucky cat is good because I'm lazy and I don't wanna have to chase demon fangs and yen around them <laughs> around the arena. But the peace bell is nice too because I hate when scrolls decide to ambush me while I'm just trying to get to point A to point B. And then the fire tablet's nice in combat, but I mean not everything's you're not fighting fire with everything. Uh, I think we'll swap with the with the peace spell for now. <laughs> if anything, evading evading scrolls is just like would just be a skill issue on my part. Although maybe if we're doing like a little escort quest or a race, then it might be better to put it on the bell. All right, so yeah, our ink pots now glow gold, and yeah, so if we use our ink. Kind of have to wait a bit for our regeneration to start up, but it fills a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, ink, golden ink pot is very broken. I still, <laughs> I still want to buy the purse. I, yeah, it almost looks like I'm maxed out on praise, but it does go over 500. It just, it just keeps going up and up and up. I'll, I'll just hold on to it. Sometimes. Uh, spending... Spending, uh, 
your praise on on solar energy. It acts like a full restore. Alright, to North Ryoshiba, finally, we return. Orca's back by the pier. The bully's back. <laughs> Oh no! Wait. Are they tired? What's what's wrong with you guys? Oh, Urashima, the great Urashima! Wait! We are wrong and you were right all along! Oh, because Orca exists. Now they're worshipping him, how weird. It was it was really at the pier. Poor oh, Orca, I mean. We didn't believe him, but Urashima was telling the truth. Oh, Urashima, the great Urashima! We were wrong and you were right all along! Now oh, the bullies changed their tune very quickly. Oh, Urashima, the great Urashima! You're so cool! Are you swooning? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Little girl. Howdy there, Pooch! Y'all make it to the Dragon Palace? That whirlpool done sucked you to the bottom of the sea, huh? No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm happy as a pig and slopped here, y'all made it. Anyway, I reckon I'm in a bit of a pickle right now. I wanna go fish in the sea, but these folks are on my way. Uh, is this like a continuity issue? We did not- the whirlpool did not. Okay, well, the game's acting like it did. Go back on Orca. We didn't even find the whirlpool yet. Alright. Yeah, the whirlpool's still hidden. Yeah, yeah, we already know that. Okay, where are the islands I still need to go? To the west. Do we go the tiny one first? And then I think the biggest one is gonna be a fishing minigame, unfortunately. <laughs> Yay, fishing! It's not any smaller. Also keep a lookout for like underwater rock formations, because those also have clams. Right there. A little slow, because if I tend to twirl around in circles like this, then I can't get the treasure. I got bullhorn. The only one. <laughs> I'm always scared to look behind me. It's like the dra the dragon, the water dragon is just gonna be right behind me, like poised to eat me. Get off, Orca! There is a over here. Do -do -do. And praise for that. Uh, just in case there's like there might be treasures here. <laughs> Let me just turn it to night so I can see a little bit better. Let me chop cross off that claw roll that I got. Bam. Something else here. Such a tiny island for too much stuff to be hiding on it. Where'd Orca go? Don't leave me! Oh, we can't swim. Tommy's one weakness is water. I guess this seems like a good place to get off. Big, big. Golden peach. That's not a stray bead, but it's still nice. You wanna you wanna fight? Let's fight. We have, we got. I already forgot your name! <laughs> the guardian- the exorcism guardian statue. Oop. I think I slapped it one too many times. Oh, you hit me. Where'd you go? Let me pee on you! Fine.
Stay on the ground. Alright. Sweet! It'll be easy to rack up 70 fangs. I also need to get our money back. We spent a chunk of it. Okay. This is a hard dig spot here. Uh, okay, I got... <laughs> you know what this means! The miasma! Got another bandit spider. This one's red. Same... Uh, strategy as the Spider Queen. Gonna probably do more stuff, but same strategy. We want to hook the blossoms onto the hooks, and then that will open things up, and we can just destroy the land. You have a lot of health, sir. No matter. Try your best. Oh, we got eaten. <laughs> I got greedy. Alright. Hook. You. Um. You do that. More? Okay, you are. You should be opening up by now. I wonder if slowing down time actually gives you more time. Um. Weird. Weird targeting issue there. Yeah, this music, it reminds me of the same kind of music that they decided to use for Monster Hunter Rise. The same instruments. So it kind of makes, it kind of makes me want to play Monster Hunter again. I don't want to try it, like, fire, like, can I use other skills? Oh, fire, nice. Hmm, I don't think I could do another fire. Oh, I got eaten again. <laughs> I got greedy. I was like, I'm almost there. You know what I can do? There we go. Restore some health. Our first, our first health. That's it. I tried power slashing that last time, but... Didn't really work. I wonder if what the light the fuse. Aha! That stuns you. Oh, and then I can I can hook him without without him spinning around. you with some flare. You're dead. <laughs> Kill it with fire! I've tr I have not tried peeing on bosses, but you can't floral finish them, so can't get demon fangs doing that. No, oh, we didn't- we suck! Oh well, we still get the reward. Got a chest. Got a sun fragment. Which actually gets us another unit of health, I think. Like the three sun fragments to form a unit of solar energy. Sweet! Now we're getting all our health! <laughs> I believe this is similar to the other spider bandit cave that we found. Um, we will need to come back here later to do a devil gate gauntlet, but... We can't do it now. Not Unlike the other one where the... the the devil gates are like ready to fight 
Uh, I think we have to discover more monsters, so I think after Oni Island you can challenge challenge the Devil Gate Gauntlet. It gets you a stray bead, so once again I recommend that you get more weapons, more powerful weapons, just so it, it is a faster endeavor. Or else you're just going to be wailing on monsters that have stupid amounts of health. Not fun for anyone. I don't know why I want to chop down this tree. This tree looked at me funny. Nope. Overshot you. On you. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go. I also see Oni Island over there. Alright, last island? Yeah. Barring any, like, tiny, tiny islands that have, like, clams on them. Got a pearl. Any clams on the beach? There are clams on the beach. There's also a person. We'll talk to that person soon. Dragonfly bead. Holy bone S. Sake. Increase attack power. And I feel like the slope is too high. Okay. Oh. Daytime. I did see this chest here though. Oh wow, it's it's a uh... can't see it unless it's like nighttime. The stray bead. Uh this is stray bead. Do number sixty-two. I think this is the last stray bead we can get until after the Dragon Palace, and then another one we can get after Oni Island. Doo -doo. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, but. <laughs> Actually, we better to turn it into night. All right, is that all the clovers? I want to say that's all the clovers. I feel like I'm missing one. Unless I bloomed it and I just this is on one of those, but. <laughs> Oh, it's right there. Okay, here's the last one. Stop it. Stop with the sun. Okay. Last clover. How did you get over here? And you did not get attacked by the water dragon. Hi there, pup. Some folk worry about the water dragon and all. But if you're gonna fish, you gotta fish you gotta fish in the sea. All you need is a stout resilience against the vast raging sea. If you got that, you hardly even need a line. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, oh great. Uh, another person fishing without any fishing line. That chef Umi wants me to catch him something special. Only one fish fits the bill. The king of the sea, the marlin. I'm gonna haul in a big one. Give that old guy the shock of his life. Hey, pup. Do you know what you're carrying there? Any fisherman would kill for that rod. That's the marlin rod, the strongest in the world. Yeah, we bought that in Saiyan City. I think it's also a merchant here also sells it as well if we didn't buy it in Saiyan. But that rod, that, that tough, there's no fish you couldn't reel in. Even the great king of the sea, the marlin. Be nice, pup. You know that wrong rod belongs to me. You were robbed of the marlin rod. Didn't even have a choice. 
Let's see what this Marlin Rodden's got, huh? Guess you'll want to stick around to see this, right, pup? Watch him fish? Sure, why not? <laughs> Love when characters just take your stuff without even asking. Okay, yeah, I mean, you got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the pole to the fish. Let's catch a big one. The music is so dramatic again. All right. Hey, I got a bite. So this are gonna be different fish than we caught in Sand City. This is gonna be mostly saltwater fish. Ooh. That not angelfish or is it a kite fish? I forgot. Striped snapper. Neither. <laughs> Actually, let me get my fish list out. And just cross that off. We're gonna have a whole list of it to list of them to get. Uh, striped snapper. Where is it? All the way at the bottom. We ca you can catch these in North Ryoshima in the daytime only. I guess it's good that we got it now. We catch a bigger one. Got a bite. Oh, another one. Hmm, that looks like the lunker. Well, looks like it's gonna be a big one. This has gotta be a big old marlin. It's, uh, it's frantic. Oh god, this is annoying. Please stop. It also gets this guy in the red really fast. Look at that snoot. Big old swordfish. This is like I. Th this is a fish I thought Benke was trying to catch. It's like literal sword on its nose. Okay, it's third time the charm. Whoa. Caught Marlin. That's <laughs> freaking. It's huge. Take a look at this! The mighty king of the sea, the Marlin! It finally hits the sand. I've been fishing here in Ryoshima for a good few years now. But I've never bagged one as big as this before. No time to waste! That prima donna chef will only take the freshest fish. I'll run this over to him now. See ya! How? What? How? What? You're... You're stuck here. Okay, he's gone, so... <laughs> We'll have to go to the restaurant, uh, in a bit. Deal with Umi's, uh... He was complaining about not having fresh ingredients, so now that he has it, we'll be able to do something with it. Alright, well, there's... I think there's still... Can I swim to these islands? I nearly explored everything. Except for, like, this rock here. <laughs> Wait, is that... I literally cannot... Is that, like, out of bounds? Blah 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 whirlpool. I mean, I can swim around it. Why can't I walk on it? Weird. Okay. <laughs> See that? Oh. Can't see. I know the clams there. Pigeon is garbage. Really? I touched that. Oh my gosh. Get a little, a little bit frustrated there. Out of bounds. Out of bounds, okay. Clam? Clam. Swim very gently. Okay, Pearl. I feel like that's the last clam.
Well, that's the last shallow island I can visit. Alright, let's go to the restaurant. Looking for Mr. Umi, he's out back. Seems really worried about his cooking at the moment. See if you can cheer him up a bit. Oh wow, there, there's the marlin. How'd he carry it back? <laughs> there's like nowhere he could have walked it to. <laughs> Likely the dragon, the water dragon didn't eat him. Hello doggy, feast your eyes on this lively wiggler. That awful water dragon had scared off all the fish in the sea. But just look at the size of this marlin. Need, I need juicy fruits of the sea to show what I can do. Only the freshest will do. And I finally got my hands on some fine ingredients. Time to sharpen up my knives and my skills again. Seeing you- Seeing as you're here, doggy, why don't you stay and watch? Not often I get a fish as good as this one. And not often you'll get to see knife skills like mine up close. Enough chit-chat, there's no time to lose. This freshness cannot go to waste. It'll be an insult to the fish. Stand back, doggy. The great chef Umi is about to unleash his cyclone slice. And we'll assist in the background. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's draw the three lines that we see in the background. Wah! Woohoo! My best handiwork ever! My skills are getting a little rusty, but now I've reached new heights. I've matured! The fish must be fresh, the dish must be quick! If I sharpen up these blades, I'll be serving up a whale next time! Well. Haven't seen you in a while. Kazegami! Ah, oh, Matarasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. My power had diminished while you were away. But that man's zeal and your own pure heart have restored my power. I have harnessed his fervent energy to bestow upon you. A new power. Dance like a raging whirlwind. You'd make a better warrior than a chef the way he wields knives. Hey, I just thought of something, Ami. Whirlwind, that other power of Kazegame is pretty intense. Bet his enthusiasm is was what awakened it. If it could do that to a marlin, just think what it could do to those pesky monsters. Got some praise for that too. All right, let's eat this. Consume sashimi, luxurious special, luxurious specially prepared dish. It completely fills the astral pouch, although all our astral pouches are full. I'm not gonna eat it anyway. Get some yen. We also get a scroll. Gale Storm Techniques, scroll drawn by a wandering artist, contains useful information. Alright, let's read about Cyclone. Right, Gale Storm Techniques. Gale use Gale Storm to draw three lines representing a tumultuous storm. Amaterasu's body unleashes a whirlwind that destroys evil. Larger lines make larger storms, but their time is shorter. Small equals long, big equals short. That's confusing. You may, might say it's a balance system. Three ink bottles are required regardless of the size. Harness the righteous wind to blow evil away. So this is kind of useful if you're getting like ganged up on. Um, but it doesn't do too much damage I've noticed. It, it does throw monsters up in the air so they're just like, I, they're like out of reach. You're like, I want to hit them but they're all the way up there now. So yeah, I guess it could, it could help get your bearings back. My fish too. Beautiful fish prized more for its appearance than its flavor. And an undisputed king of the sea, this majestic fish has no rival. My skills were getting a little rusty. But now I've reached new heights. I've matured. 
fish must be fresh. The dish must be quick. Well, just don't get carried away. You can hurt yourself. I could, uh, <laughs> swinging those knives around. What's all that noise about? Has Mr. Umi finished preparing a new dish? Sure did. Delicious sashimi. We ate it all. Because there was no other customers. Alright, so... Wait, okay, orca's all the way over there. I wonder if we can do more fishing right now. I don't know if I'll have enough time to catch all of the fish. <laughs> or maybe just most of them? There are some overlapping fish that you can catch in other areas. But yeah, I think this would be a good time to do fishing rather than go to the tower. The tower is going to be a little bit of an ordeal. <laughs> swim, swim, swim. Yeah, if the fisherman's not there, then I guess we could like call it a little early and save the tower for the next episode. If he is, then we'll just have to pray, pray that we catch all the fish fast. Or else this will take like two flippin' hours. Hmm, he's not back. He's not here. Hmm, you know what? Unless. <laughs> what if I disembarked? Not like, oh, he's back. If I change it to night. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's, he's back yet. Okay, we can definitely save this for next time. Alright, let's actually, let's get to our destination, but we won't do it until uh, next episode. I think, th I think there's an origin mirror. Right outside. Yeah, yeah, let's get going, Jesus. Cheese and crackers, man. Why do you have to chat every time? No, on the island's over there. Moving around. <laughs> this really does make me go like Wind Waker. It's just, like literally looks like we're going to the Tower of the Gods. That make sure. Spooky. Where's that meowing coming from? Hmm. I think it's coming from that tower. Kind of creepy, but let's go check it out. <laughs> like that line for like the. There's like a spoof of the Blair Witch called like the Blair Thumb. I like, I remember one of the scenes at the end, it's, they're like at the haunted house in the woods and they're just like, it's dark, it's abandoned, it's spooky, let's go inside. <laughs> like that, that is horror, horror movie logic. Like, look at this dark, deadly place that's probably gonna kill me. Let's go inside. Alright, uh, got the kitties, let's mark off the kitties. I think that's the last animal mob that's in this zone, but uh, just warning you now, there's gonna be a lot of cats. <laughs> gonna be lots of cats up ahead. Um, you'll want at least eight bags of fish. Oops, I'm sorry, kitty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did, did, didn't mean to there you go. <laughs> didn't mean to hit but you. Yeah, just just saying. Have enough fish to last to last you. Yeah, I'll save over this file. Alright, cat call tower. Alrighty, hope you guys are having a fun time with this, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.